Hi, I'm Adeolu. I'm a photographer. Welcome to my Photoshop Masterclass. I'll be showing you how I take an image from this to this using Photoshop. And along the way, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks to take your Photoshop skills to the next level. So here we have the before and after image. To get this, we sort of have to photograph myself at different points in the picture then mask it all together so it all blends in and creates one final image. So here we have a selection of images which were taken with the high speed continuous shots and that gives us an idea of like um, the subject in different frames which we could then select from and sort of merge together. So here we have the first image and using the crop tool we could expand that a bit so we have more space for the other parts of the picture then taking the rectangular marquee tool we could select the area that needs to be filled and we click shift f5 and what that does is that creates the that uses the content aware tool to fill up the image based on the surrounding areas so it fills up the parts which we selected based on the areas around it now we could use the soft healing brush tool and we could use that to clean over the filled area and that just makes the image a lot more neater and realistic so we'll remove the areas that look a bit off and yeah so we'll go to the second image which we'll select from and using the rectangular marquee tool as well we could select the part of the picture which we need which is the subject and his footsteps so using ctrl j we could duplicate the selection and that gives us the selection in a new layer so we could drag that over to the final piece and so we'll put that on the final piece and we we'll try to place it in a way that it sort of blends in seamlessly with the total picture so it doesn't look too off then we zoom that in and try to place it so the horizons match on both sides of the picture so we go over here and create a mask layer and with that we could use the brush tool to brush away parts of the new selection which we do not need so again that makes it more realistic so with a soft brush we could brush that off we're using the brush tool now to brush that off and so we're exposing areas like the shadow of the subject in the foreground so that adds the more realism to it so it all feels like all the subjects are in the frame at once. So we'll brush that off and some areas of the sky as well. And yeah, I think it's looking pretty good now. So we'll go over to the third picture and using the rectangular marquee tool as well. We select the area we need, which is the subject and his footsteps and a little shadow. And using Ctrl J as well, we could duplicate just the selection, which is the subject. And we copy that over to the final piece and try to place that correctly. So here we use Ctrl T 
and what that does is that sort of transforms or it lets us transform the image in the sense that we could resize it to make it larger or smaller or basically change the proportion so it blends in seamlessly how we want it to the final picture. So we can stretch that and Good now. And let's change the location of that. Switch a bit. And yeah, that's fine. So we give it a mask as well. And we take the brush tool again. And we can use that again to brush away parts of the picture which we do not need. So again, we're revealing the shadows of the layers underneath. So brushing away a bit of the sky. And so all of this adds to the realism of it. Brush away parts of the sky and the beach as well. So I'm just making it look tidy. So there's a missing area here of the shadows and that has to be fixed. So it looks as realistic as possible. So we'll go over to the final picture, the last picture, and we called copy out a selection of the shadows. So we use the lasso tool here. And with the lasso tool, we could pretty much draw out the shadow, the area of the shadow which we need, or which we'll be copying over. And using Control J as well to duplicate just the shadows, we could then drag it over to the final picture and using Control T, which is the transform, to sort of change the size and um, dimensions of it. So that lets us stretch it a bit further so it fits in and sort of change the location and stretch it further down a bit and yeah it's fine so we um we have to take the layer of the shadows beneath the picture in the foreground and then we could use the mask of the picture in the foreground to further brush away. So we take the brush tool and further brush away parts of the picture which we do not need. And I brush it off. So this lets us reveal more of the shadows which we just copied. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty decent now. So this is the final picture and with a little bit of color grading. And so we're able to merge in different copies of the same subject into the final piece. And yeah, I think it's looking pretty decent. So I'd like to see what you do with the skill shared so far and you can share that using the Photoshop era hashtag and hopefully that helps you get more into your Photoshop era.